And at 39, mm. the power is still there. Robinson takes a right hand and goes down. A right hand. Shots. Rothman comes back at him. 20 seconds remaining. Good right from Thompson yet again. This is the best right. And Rothman's face is starting to show signs of wear and tear. Oh, what a good right hand. Two, Thompson had to hold three, on. Seven. Eight. The count continues after the bell. Good work by Thompson. His best work. First couple of rounds he allowed Rothman to do. This is the same position he was in at the end of the last round and he got caught very bad. Thompson in an even more trouble now at the end of this round. Good right hand by Thompson. Rothman had a dare. Oh, he's got him. Oh, Rothman's got hurt. Rothman's got Rothman's getting the end count. Thompson has produced one of the best punches of his career. The former holder of the WBO title, Carl Thompson. And back he comes again. This is suddenly forward and punching himself out. A little bit of trickery. Rothman now is standing anxious. Carl Thompson might not get to here, but he's certainly still there. He's had the champion in trouble and he's got him in his head. Just got back on his, his basic sword. That mouth of his, he's leaving himself open a little bit and has to be very careful. Good right. He would have to be. Oh, so he's punching power. And trying to draw those hands down. It's been a, an interesting point in most runs. Good run. Thompson's still there. Great work by Thompson. Great heart he's showing. Can he produce a loss? Well, Thompson is uh, doing his best to take that jab away. Good run. Himself hurt. He may just survive the end of this run. Oh, what a shot from Thompson. Right hand. Look at his eight. He's up at eight. He's up at eight. He's stopped it. He's stopped it. This is up. Proved that at the end of the round, that there is one punch that separates you from defeat and victory. And the one punch was produced by the 39-year-old Carl. He was undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, 20 wins coming by way of knockout. With a record of 41 wins and 6 losses, he has 27 wins coming by way of knockout. God bless. Right off the cut by Gabayo. And a left this right hand down. But oh, oh shot him. And I think Caballo really doesn't want it. There's a second. And there, Donaire with the overhand right counter. Turning 39 last month. But he best. With a lot of movement. Donaire comes Good forward. Counter, right hand by Caballo utilizing. Yet for him. And the youth of Gabaglio being served until... And, and, and it doesn't show. Oh, wow, there's the a well uh, Donaire, uh, Guillermo, Rick, and Nayoi, anyway. Wow. Right hand, even 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 though Donaire lands and, here and there. And Donaire, so Donaire coming back. Yes. And then Gabaglio oh, fired back. Gabaglio goes down for the first time in his career, courtesy of a body shot. The sportsmanship, the idol, tending to his fallen foot. And at 39, mm. the power is still there. Remains a nightmare for anyone at 118 pounds. 88 fight record, 75 wins, 45 inside the scheduled distance, just eight defeats. And three draws, pounds, 13 ounces, seven fight records, six wins, two inside the scheduled distance, and just one defeat. James Tony, the three-weight world champion, 45 years old, one of the biggest names in boxing, and then came back in July with a four-rounder. He's had he's had a one four-round fight in five years. That is not exactly he used to box. He got a bit on a box he deals with it. Good opening round so far. For Caution and respect will not get him the upset win here, not over three. Tony just closed. He's a little bit more Billy. He's reacting to the top. And again, stalemate. Well, not this about that. Punches that are missing. And I wonder if Tony got sent out with a flea in his ear because he started very sharply here. Punches than he fancied doing in that second round. We may not need the judges. That right hand, that right hand counter. Leg was stood up. In his time, looking for the big one over the top. Legs in a lot of trouble here. And Victor Lachlan says that'll do it. And Victor Lachlan got that one spot on.
Foke, 45 years of age. But I tell you, not bad for a middle age pro, is he? I mean, there you go. The I shared a ring with one of the greats of world boxing. Just look at this. First beating Kendrew Cannon, a memorable bout in the garden. Then in 1980, beating Sugar Ray Leonard in Montreal. Then beating... With a professional record of 20 and 6. You weighed in today at 166 pounds. We welcome Mike Colburn. He is boxing's indomitable warrior with a record of 98 victories, 12 defeats, 67 of his wins by knockout. And Roberto Duran turned pro on March 3rd of 1967. Mike Colbert was six years old, six months old. The eighth round by Powell against Mike Colbert. In 72 at the Garden, when he won the lightweight title. His 1980 win against Casey performed well at an age where he shouldn't have been performing well. Durant, the letter one in the This one is scheduled for 10 on the deal. Two, which made it. Is the Davy Moore fight? Okay, I gotta be honest. 49. Saul Mamby, 46, and the list goes on. George Foreman, who was scheduled. And here comes Duran, and we're putting his punches together. 11 professional fights. All the sparring. There's a right hand, and Coleman goes down. Duran sends it to the canvas. You know, and the thing is, Duran, Coleman is not moving as he was before. After that cut, too, with a shoulder. Speaks to what Duran said about some of the fighters from the wall. They're all the body sets him down. Right to the midsection. Took the wind out of Colbert. He was not down in round. And Duran hurt him again, and Colbert is going down. Yeah. And Duran's so smart. Going right. Ah, oh, Colbert's out on his feet. Referee steps in, Dave Johnson, and that's it. Good job by Dave Johnson. You're a winner. Buck 35 a gallon. <laughs> the president was Jimmy Carter. If you went to the movies, it cost you four dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> Eric Morales was three years old. Jose Luis Castillo was nine. His professional record: 32 victories, with nine losses, two draws, and 12 of his victories coming by way of knockout. 106 victories, with five losses, two draws, and an incredible. 88 victories coming by way of knockout. Out in respect to twice to him and just kissed him on the cheek before uh, the referee's instructions. Amazing. Yo, Chavez. Always coming forward, always outworking. And allow himself to be hit to the body. Chavez with a clubbing left hand at the top of the head. Final seconds, round two, and he works the body. Make it a compelling fight against the, or excuse me, uh, the trouble. Pernell Whitaker, Willie Wise, Frankie Randall. Now well, he's trying to box him, but without, without. Right hand by Chavez. His legs look unsteady. Robinson takes a right hand and goes down. A right hand lead by Chad. Two right. Another right. Six legged as the round comes to an end. And the referee scores a knockdown. Right hand top of the head of Robinson. To breathe, huh? That's typical. This is a typical Ooh. fight. Of Almost taking round seven off. Left hook by Chavez. Right by Chavez. And Chavez now sharpshooting. Right hand by Chavez. And down goes, not the fighter. <laughs> right hand by Chavez as we knock down. <laughs> Robinson now staggered. He's 
throwing all left hands, trying to beat him with one hand. He hasn't thrown it once in this round. <laughs> one final ovation. To the winner, by way of unanimous decision, El Gran Campeón Mexicano, Julio César Chávez.